Hey Dirty Dog fans, Mike from Dirty Dog here showing you how to install a rear pet, or sorry, a front seat pet divider. This is a pet divider that goes behind the front seats uh, on the JL 2018 newer. So in your kit, you're gonna have a couple different things and I've got to show you uh, different ways to install for soft top or hard top. Hard top users, you're gonna have, uh, you're gonna need two of these brackets, one for each side. You've got two of these bolts. You've got two large shoulder washers. You can see here, and you've got two of these acorn nuts. So you're gonna use, so you need two sets to do both sides. So first thing you do is put your bolt through this bracket, push it all the way through. Your bracket installs, you can see there's a cutout on one side, your bracket installs a cutout, goes inside towards the vehicle. You have a, a hole right here where your soft top mounting bracket goes through. You're gonna use that. You're gonna push your bracket straight up. You're gonna take your acorn, your, your um, shoulder washer here, and it's going down with the shoulder down, and it's going to go over top. So you put it like that, and then you put the acorn nut on top of that. Now I'm showing you here with the top removed. You can do this with your hard top on. You don't have to slide your hand in there, and you can feel around. Just make sure you put your shoulder washer first, because the acorn nut, if you don't put it in, will just drop right through that hole, and you'll have to find yourself another acorn nut. So put that in. It's a three-quarter inch wrench to tighten it up. Get it tightened up, and you do the same on the other side. We've done the other side. We're going to go on to the installation of the net. Okay, for your soft top owners, uh, you'll need to remove uh, one of the brackets because you're gonna share the hole that the brackets in. So take your handy little tool that, that Jeep gave you. You're gonna undo your, your bolt that holds on. All I have to do is loosen this one off and let that drop. Um, same thing, we have the bracket again. You're gonna put the, the cutout towards the inside of the vehicle. You're just gonna slide it over top of, get the two holes to line up. So you see that I slid that over top of the bracket. We're just going to get the, two, the holes to line up. We'll get the bolt started. Don't push all the way through because you won't be able to get it in the hole to start with. And you're just going to swing it back up, push your bolt through. So you feel it kind of hit. And then from here, you got to tighten it back up. So just pull it from the top, I find, and just kind of loosely sort of push, pull it together, which you should lock right in for you. And then we'll tighten that up. There you go, your bracket's installed now, ready for your soft top users. Now for the, um, this also will fit on the power top users. There's a bolt in here already for the power top users. You just have to pull the bolt out, put this bracket on the same way, and bolt back in, and it works for your power top users as well. All right, moving on to our next step. Um, we have the, the uh, pet divider here now. As we've put our two-piece uh, two bar across the top of the pet divider and the loops provided, we've attached Shock cord hooks to the bottom as it shows the instructions, and they just loop through through the grommet and go in. So now your pet bar is pretty easy to install from here. Um, dirty dog tag faces to the front of the vehicle. You're gonna put it across, you're gonna line up the bar with the, the bracket installed on the other side, you push through, pull the bracket through this way, and that's your toughest part there to do that. Once you come to this, you've got your straps on your roll bar handles here. Each side gets tightened up. And we'll go to the other side. Now, once you get that done, you've got your grunt, you've got your shock cord hooks in the bottom here. And all they're doing is they're gonna grab onto the back, to the bottom here of the seat posts on, uh, on the vehicle itself, so on the front seat. So they're just gonna reach down, you're gonna feel the metal seat post, you're just gonna attach the shock cords to it. And I'll get you a close up on this so you can see it. Here's a close up here where your hooks go into your C bracket. You can see that's your inside one there. You can see it in there. And then you've got your other ones on this side, on the uh, other side of the bracket. And you do the same on both sides. One last thing for users if you're moving your seat back and forth, uh, obviously you won't be able to recline your seat because then it's stopping, but you still can move your seat back and forth. Um, you'll need to somehow, you'll need to loosen this off. Sometimes you want to pull the seat back forward if a different driver is using and they're further back. But I recommend. Put your seats for the normal driver, put them in place where your normal driver is going to be, and then crank your adjustment up tight and you're ready to go. Right? There's the installs finished. Thanks guys. Have a good day.